Today I am going to show you how easy it is to convert video file from one format to another in your Mac. For converting videos, I will be using a very simple software called MacX Video Converter. MacX Video Converter is a simple to use and very intuitive software. You don't have to tinker around a lot of settings to get your video converted to your preferred format. Let me go to my screen and show you the software interface. Here is the interface. You can see this is the MacX Video Converter. It has got a trial version. It is a paid software, but it has got a trial version which you can try it out before you purchase the software. And the links to the software will be provided in the description. To convert a video, go to this video tab, click on it. You can browse your computer or your hard disk or any other external storage that is attached. So I have selected this video file, for example, and click on open. First time when you click on open, what happens is that you get this dialog box where you can use the file formats or the profiles. Profiles means there are different settings for your conversion which are saved as profiles. I have selected this mp4 video or mpmov video files. These are the formats which I recently used. But when you start out for the very first time using this software, what you can do is go to the general profiles. You can select different video formats from the list here. These are the most common video formats which is more than enough for the average user. So these are the most common video formats. So I have selected an MOV file or a QuickTime file which I would like to convert to MP4 video files. Here we have three tabs. One is low quality, one is normal quality and the other one is high quality. You can toggle this bar to select the quality that you would prefer but I will keep it as default and as I show you in in a moment that you can tweak many other settings as well so once you select your format for example this mp4 format I have selected by the way what you can do also do is that you can convert to a 4k 2k etc but always remember not to upscale your videos for example if you have a 1080p videos don't select a resolution higher than that for conversion because the video quality will be degraded because it will be stretched out the pixels will be stretched i will go ahead select the mp4 format and show you how to do this this is the dialog box where you can change other settings but before going that let me show you this folder structure you can browse the folder where you would like to save your converted video file there is this file which i would like to convert Convert. Next, this is the target file where you can rename the target file as well. I would like to rename it when it is converted to a easy to remember name, for example, converted. So this is my new file which will be used for the target file. There is a gear icon. When I click on gear icon, I can change different settings for the conversion. I can change the frame rates. I can change the resolution, I can change the aspect ratio, I can change the audio codec. Now there is no option for audio codec, codec because of the file format that I have selected in the source. And if you select some other file formats, you may have other audio codec options as well. You can change the audio sample rates. You can change the audio channel here, it is not allowed. You can change the sample bit, uh, audio bitrate as well. So there are different things that you can change or tweak around for minute detailing of your converted video file. You can also change the output video format. For example, if you have selected and later on you would like to change to a different format, what you can do is uh, you can go there, drop down menu, you can again go to the other things which you can select. Now let me show you one more thing that you have a lot of profiles. If you go down, scroll, you can select profiles directly compatible for YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, etc. There are different other profiles that you can select. I'll go ahead with the MP4 format and once you are satisfied with all the settings you can click apply to all and then click ok and then what you need to do is simply hit the run button and your file will be converted in no time so once I click on run button my file has been converted so it is now converted to a file let me go to VLC here you can see that my file converted file has been there now the converter is not only a converter it also allows you to convert photos one one of the things that you can also 
use this converter as a video recorder suppose you have a webcam you want to record something using the webcam for example let me go ahead and select this yeah, now my webcam is selected as my screencast but let me go there to the gear icon here over here and from here I can select my webcam once I select my webcam now you can see that my FaceTime camera has been there now you can hit this record button or the camera gear camera icon to to record the webcam so you can use it as a webcam recorder if you have connected any other camera to your uh, to your computer system then you can go ahead and record I'm not going to details of this recording feature there are other feature this is this record feature is a screen recorder it also has got the screen recording capabilities apart from video conversion go ahead and select this recording feature so you can see that you can have your screen of your computer available for recording here you can use the area you would like to screen record so this software is not only a simply video converter it also has got many other capabilities you can see that this software is very powerful and very intuitive to use the link Links for this product or this software is in the description. You can go ahead check out this software by yourself. If you like this video, please consider hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.